Hi, and welcome back to Simple Home and School. Today I'm going to be doing a flip, flip, flip through and review of Math Mammoth Grade 1, 2, and 3. Math Mammoth is a mastery approach to math, which means that you master the concepts that you're learning before you move on, as opposed to a spiral approach. It's also focused on conceptual learning, so you're learning the how and the why of each concept that you're learning. So let's first look at the first grade curriculum. So my first year that I bought Math Math, I bought the digital download. So um, I got it all printed and it's about $40 for the whole set. So you get a workbook A, you get a workbook B, and I got the skills review my first year. And then I have all my tests and my answers that I have printed out. So let's look at workbook A. Here's some of the chapters and the concepts that you will be focusing on. And then you just kind of jump right into it. So they're doing a kindergarten review in the beginning of the year. And then after the first chapter, you get into the lessons. Now, one of the things that I love is she ha has a lot of extras that she adds on to each chapter. So here, she has some addition games that you can play along with your lessons. And this is my favorite thing. For each lesson, she also has games that you can play online. So my daughter loves this. So after her lesson, um, I pick one of these games and she hops on and plays it to review the concept. And it really solidifies what she is learning for the day. And usually the games she can play in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. She's not playing them for an hour. So let's look through a lesson and just kind of see the layout. These are kind of self-taught lessons. I do not typically need to help her much. I will usually go through like the first examples with her and then she'll do the rest of the lesson by herself. Most lessons are two to four pages long and maybe take anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. At the end of each chapter there's a review and then a test is provided and a cumulative test is provided, meaning if you just finished chapter three, there's a cumulative test um, reviewing everything you've learned from chapters one to three. So I like to do both of them. I don't do the cumulative test every single time, but it helps me see what concepts she has really grasped. So here's just an overview of chapter two. Here's the games you can play, more games that you can play. You can see that she gives you a lot of options for games and then just more of the chapter. Okay, let's take a look at grade one chapter or book two. And I usually, um, you, typically you would do both books in one year. So you can see it's not short and sweet, but it's no frills and it's basic enough that your child conceptually should be able to kind of figure out the lessons for themselves so you can start them and prompt them on lessons and they should be able to figure them out. So I like this because it's just enough work for my daughter to do and to understand the lessons. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the skills review book. Now, I used this a little bit my first year, but we actually did not need this. I think it's in a great resource. I think it'd be great for like a summer review if you wanted to keep schooling through the summer. But there's just one page for each lesson, and it's just extra examples um, for each lesson. So you can look at that. And then the tests for first grade... So she includes a scoring sheet, which I love. Um, and she says how many points are in each section. And then each test is only one page long. So it really keeps it pretty short and sweet for the test. So they're not painful. They usually take about five or ten minutes for my 
child to do. So scoring sheet, test, and that's it. Here's a look, look at a cumulative test. It's a little bit longer. Okay, so let's look at second grade. And this is going to look the same as first grade. And I love that from year to year, my child knows what to expect. All the lessons are laid out the same. Um, there's still games for each um, lesson for her to do. So here's the table of contents for second grade. This is a used copy, sorry, about multiple first grades. Hold on one second. So start off with review of first grade, and then we jump into our lessons. So here you can see is a lesson. So typically I would read this to my daughter. I would do example number one with her. If she understands it, she can do the rest of the lesson by herself. If she doesn't understand it, I will help her. Okay. There we go. Let's look at the second workbook. And the one thing I noticed about Math Mammoth is I feel like there's not a lot of drill of addition and subtraction facts. So actually, after the first grade books, I did addition facts that stick by Kate Snow, just to have some extra practice for addition facts. And um, I've started subtraction facts that stick by Kate Snow. So that's just a quick way for them to... Um, kind of drill in a fun way addition and subtraction facts because I wanted to make sure that she was quick with them. I also bought um, wrap-ups which is another fun way just to practice doing addition and subtraction. You can get multiplication and division for those. So you can see this all looks like it's the same format as the first grade and let's take a look at the third grade. We will be doing third grade this year, so I have not looked at it yet, but I know you start doing multiplication at the last chapter of second grade, so multiplication is a big focus in third grade. So here we go. Addition and subtraction, regrouping, multiplication concept, multiplication tables, telling time. Here's some pages for the third grade book A. Okay, and then let's look at the table of contents for book B. Place value with thousands, geometry, measuring, division, and fractions. Okay, so that is a look at Math Mammoth first, second, and third grade. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. We love Math Mammoth. We're going to use it through seventh grade. They have the program available, and then she has suggestions for what to do um, on her website, Maria Miller, um, for beyond seventh grade. She also has a lot of YouTube videos that teach her lessons or explain concepts better, so that's another great resource if you're not confident in teaching a specific concept, you can look it up on her website. She also has many free worksheets to supplement lessons on her website. She just has a plethora of resources. Um, so I just suggest go check out Maria Miller with Math Mammoth. It's, I feel like, an amazing program that is um, not as popular, but I wish it were because it's just such an affordable price. Um, and you can just, you can buy it in black and white, which is cheaper, or you can buy it in color. And it just really um, solidly teaches math if you enjoy the mastery approach. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.